Whether you're a seasoned pro or new to the game, we all know that coming up with fresh and engaging content can be, well, challenging. But fear not, my friends, because today we're going to talk about some great ideas and planning tips to make sure that you always have something to say. We'll explore different ways to come up with content ideas, strategies for keeping your audience engaged, and some helpful tools and resources to help you plan and execute your live streams like a pro. So live streaming is an incredibly powerful tool for connecting with audiences, and it's only going to continue to grow in popularity. So whether you're a business owner, a content creator, or just someone looking to connect with others, this presentation is for you. Let's dive a bit deeper into the importance of having a variety of content. When it comes to live streaming, you wanna keep things fresh and interesting for your audience. A mix of different types of content can help you achieve just this. For example, you could do a Q&A session, a product demonstration, a tutorial, or even a behind the scenes look into your business. The key is to mix things up and keep your audience guessing. Also, since you're live, you should be interacting with your audience in the comment section. Feel free to greet your viewers and answer questions. Just make sure you do not get too far off track. You still wanna deliver on what you promised to your audience in the first place. Before we dive into the different types of content, let's talk about the importance of knowing your ideal audience. After all, you can't create content that will resonate with them if you don't know who they are. One of the best ways to do this is by creating an ideal customer avatar or an ICA. An ICA is a detailed representation of your ideal customer. It includes information such as demographics, interest, pain points, and goals. By understanding an ICA, you'll have a better idea of what type of content will be most relevant to them and what problems they have that you can solve. Here are the steps to create your ICA. Identify your target market. Who are the people that you want to reach with your live streaming content? Get specific here. Go ahead and do some research. Research your target market to gather information about their demographics, behaviors, interest, and their pain points. Next, analyze that data. Look for patterns and common characteristics among your ICA. Use that information that you've gathered to create a detailed description of your ideal customer, including those demographics and interests, those pain points, and those goals that we talked about. Give that person a name and a face. This will help you to really visualize your ideal customer. I personally like to think of one person and really bring them to life when I write them out on my ICA. Creating this ICA can be a bit of work, but it's so worth it in the end. Once you have your ICA, you'll be able to tailor your content to their needs and interests, which will make it more likely that they'll stick around and engage with your streams because it feels like you're talking to them. Now that we've talked about the importance of knowing your ideal customer, let's move on to the next step, coming up with content. One great way to ensure you always have something to discuss is by creating pillar content. Pillar content is a set of core topics that you'll be covering on a regular basis. These are the topics that align with your business interest or expertise. They're the foundation of your live streams. Here are a few examples of some pillar content that you can use to come up with ideas for your live streams. You could do product demonstrations. If you're a business owner, you can showcase your products and give your audience a behind the scenes look of how those products are made. You could do Q and A sessions. These are a really great way to answer your audience's questions about specific topics in your niche. My favorite, tutorials. You could teach your audience something new or share your expertise on a specific topic. Guest interviews are an awesome pillar. You can invite experts or influencers from your industry to talk about those specific topics. This also takes a lot of stress off your plate because you don't always have to be the one talking. Having a set of pillar content will give you a solid foundation and direction to build your live stream. You'll always have something to talk about and your audience will always have something to look forward to. Another great way to develop ideas for your live streams is by using a tool like Topic Mojo. Love this tool. Topic Mojo is a tool that allows you to find questions people are actually asking online in your industry or niche on sites like Google, Quora, and Reddit. 
By doing live streams that answer these very questions, you are ensured to attract and engage with your audience. Not only will you be providing valuable information to your viewers, you'll also be positioning yourself as the expert and leader in your field. Now, one of my favorite ways to develop ideas for live streams or other content is using tools like ChatGPT and Jasper AI. These tools use natural language processing, otherwise known as NLP, to generate ideas based on a specific topic or keyword that you provide. By using NLP, these tools can understand the context of the topic you're searching for and generate ideas that are relevant to your niche. Think of these AI tools as your own personal content assistant. For example, let's say you're in the fitness industry and you wanna come up with ideas for your live stream or even just content in general. You can use an AI tool like Jasper AI and prompt with something like list five fitness live stream ideas. The tool will then generate a list of ideas that are relevant to your niche, such as yoga workout, a live stream featuring a yoga instructor teaching beginner to advanced level classes. I could also do a prompt like list five questions people have about fitness and get results that help me to create a show about how to start an exercise routine. AI tools like these can help you generate many ideas for your live streams and other content. They can save you like an insane amount of time and effort and help you stay on top of the latest trends and topics in your niche. Additionally, these tools can understand the context of your niche and generate ideas that are most relevant to your audience and their interests. Once you have your ideas, it's important to organize them so you always have something to move forward with your shows. One way to do this is by using a Trello board or a ClickUp account or even just a Google spreadsheet. This way, you can easily access your ideas and plan your live streams with these. There are many ways to come up with content ideas for your live streams, whether you're using tools like Topic Mojo to find questions people are asking or AI tools like ChatGPT and Jasper AI to generate ideas. It's important to have a variety of content and organize your ideas so you always have something to move forward with your show. Next, let's talk about planning those live streams. The importance of planning live streams in advance cannot be overstated. I'm sure everyone is gonna be talking about this in this event. Planning your live streams in advance helps with consistency, keeping you accountable, giving you time to plan ahead, and the details like guests and tools you might need, and it allows you to promote properly for maximum exposure. To help you get started, I've put together a step-by-step -step planning process that you can actually access the guide for free. I went ahead and put a link just put in your email and get the guide. But let's go over some of the main steps. Step one, brainstorm content ideas. As we discussed earlier, it's important to have a variety of content to keep your live streams interesting. Brainstorming these ideas in advance will help you stay on track and always ensure you have something to talk about. Step number two, create a content schedule. Once you have your ideas, it's time to create that schedule. This will help you stay organized and ensure that you're always prepared for your live streams. Step number three, test your equipment. Before starting your live stream, be sure to test your equipment to ensure that everything is working properly. The last thing you want is to go live and your sound is off or your camera does not connect properly. Step number four, promote your live streams ahead of time and post promotion. Let your audience know when and where your live stream will take place. Use social media, email, and other platforms to promote your live streams in advance. Step five, engage with your audience. During your stream, make sure to engage with your audience by answering questions and responding to comments. And finally, step six, have fun. Enjoy the stream. Remember, live streaming is all about connecting with your audience and having fun. Fun. So just relax and enjoy the process. By following these tips and best practices, you'll be able to plan and execute your live stream with confidence. And don't forget to download that free checklist for more detailed instructions on how to plan your live stream effectively. Now, the next thing I really wanna dive into is practice is the key to becoming a great live streamer. It's important to remember that perfection is unattainable and that progress is the ultimate goal. Live streaming is a skill that takes time to develop. The the more you practice, the better you'll become, I promise. Too often people focus on being perfect and they never go live. They're so worried about making mistakes or not having everything just right. They just never take that first step. But in truth, there's no such thing as perfect, only progress. It's important to remember that live streaming is about connecting with your audience, not about being perfect. I like to say that practice makes progress. 
The more you practice live streaming, the more comfortable you'll become in front of the camera. And the more you'll learn about what works and what doesn't. You'll learn how to interact with your audience, how to keep things interesting, and how to troubleshoot technical difficulties on the fly. In summary, practice is the key, really it is, the key to becoming a great live streamer. Don't be afraid to make mistakes or to start small. Remember that progress is the ultimate goal and the more you practice, the better you'll become. So don't wait for perfection. Just go live and start practicing right now. Thank you so much for attending this presentation. I really hope that you found it informative and helpful. Remember, you can always follow and connect with me everywhere at Stellar247 for more tips and advice on live streaming and content strategy. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or need assistance. Have a great day and remember, practice makes progress.